Obviously, um, obviously, I want to keep running. I'm healthy, um, and I just kind of keep, uh, yeah, knocking some seconds off for the season best throughout all the events. So, how do you kind of reflect on what you've done this year, leading up to USA's, relative to previous years? Wait, say it again. Sorry. So, how do you kind of reflect on what you've done leading up to yeah. USA's this year compared to previous years? So hard to compare. Like, you know, every year is different. Every year has different. Um, you know. Um, you know, setbacks, difficulties, uh, you're in different shape, you're a different person. So this year, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't know what kind of grade it's obviously this race just finished a couple, a couple minutes ago. So I definitely need to reflect a little bit, but move on. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, um, you know, I think making the, making the world team this year was going to be a, a very lofty goal. And, uh, um, but I think more than anything, I'm just a little disappointed that I didn't get out there and ran the best race I possibly could. So, um, you know, I've got to move on and, and live with it and get better next time. When you say you didn't run the best race you possibly could, was that a physical thing or that you made like a mistake or something? Like, I mean, I mean, probably more physical just because like I finished the race and I'm like, feel good. I mean, I'm just like, you know, kind of felt like a like a hard interval in a, in a workout. So, yeah, obviously, I think I was expecting it to be a much faster race and I definitely played it pretty safe which, um, you know, I thought that was going to be the best strategy for me. And now obviously how things played out, um, I wish I was a little bit more confident in, in my ability out there and would have been a little bit more aggressive. Um, aggressive meaning just like put myself a little bit more um, in the pack of things. I think I was never, um, I think I was in dead last the whole race and, and uh, try to move out in the last lap and guys were out to lane two and three. So I was just, it was just tactically stupid. Um, yeah. Has it been difficult for you mentally to adjust like up until your injury you were one of the best guys in the world in this event you were always battling for the u.s title and now you you know a little further back like has that been a tough adjustment mentally yeah of course yeah definitely um i'd be lying to tell you if it, if it wasn't um you know i think had had i had i had like a a decent year last year it, i would have been searching for a lot more answers but i mean i'm definitely going to be you know um contributing you know my position mainly from just the lack of racing and training last year and then obviously surgery which I mean on one hand you can be like yeah that's a good cop out but on the other hand it's like you know reality and so you know who's to say like I wouldn't be in the same position had I you know just from at some point father time catches up to everyone and you know you start to slow down a little bit but um yeah g given given where I was in 2021 and set a mile personal best and definitely felt like I was capable much faster even that year um you know I I, I wouldn't be in this position still trying to um, buy for, for world championship teams if I didn't think I could um, get back there. So, you know, um, workouts have been going good, just like just progressing throughout the year. The body's been holding up, which is most important. And so, yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm happy to make the final pretty, I mean, again, like I said, I'll have to take a little more time to kind of digest what, what just went on out there. But, um, you know, fresh thoughts. I'm just obviously very frustrated with how I feel after the race. Like, it doesn't feel like I left everything out there. Um, you know, being in the back, like you're gonna want to be on the rail, and I was, I was in the back and not even on the rail, so it's like just stupid, you know, JV moves out there, um, and, and honestly, like that lack of confidence for sure, and, and the lack of racing, you know, um, you know, I, I'm just still trying to get my racing legs back in me and, and gain fitness, and um, you know, when, when you're not fit, you're not able to do the things that I'm normally able to do in championship races, you know, go in the back and go around the whole damn field, um, you know, and so forth, so. I know earlier this year you felt like you were coming back from the injury with a two-year focus. Yeah. 24. If you can remove yourself from right now, which I know is probably hard, like, do you feel like this is ahead of where you maybe thought you were? Is this encouraging that you made a U.S. final in this first definitely. year? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely encouraging. Um, you know, I mean, I started this year in Australia with a 156.800 and a 406 mile. So I think, you know, and that was in March. So we're not even talking like January. So, I mean, yeah, for three or four months later, I, I don't know the timeline to, to make the U.S. final and, you know, have now season best of 148 and 336. I think, yeah, that's, that's very encouraging. And, and um, how I felt out there today and, you know, um, had the whole field run like, you know, 332 and 33. Like, I'd be a little bit more like I got a lot of work next year. But, I mean, I think I finished 10th. I feel obviously very good afterwards in terms of, um, you know, feel like I could have made up a few spots in there. And, um, like I said, yeah, just good takeaways for the rest of the season and moving into next year. Thanks, Thank guys. you, Matthew. See you.